From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by Northway Bank. Want a Northway Bank teller to keep in your pocket? There's an app for that, now available for iPhone and Android. Download yours today. Northway Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Village of Freedom now has three structures officially recognized by the state of New Hampshire as historic places, and they're all within easy walking distance of each other. The Department of Cultural Resources announced Monday the Village Bandstand in Freedom has been added to the state's register of historic places. It's believed the bandstand, used to host old home day concerts for more than a century, was built in 1902. The Queen Anne-style bandstand sits at the top of Schoolhouse Hill in the center of the village near the, 19, near the 1895 schoolhouse that now serves as the town offices and not far from the roller shed near the Masonic Hall. The town offices and roller shed where equipment used to flatten snow was stored were previously designated as historic places. The designation helps promote the significance of historic properties around New Hampshire. Being added to the register not only acknowledges a property's historical significance in a community, it also pre-qualifies the property for grant programs and allows it special consideration and relief from certain building codes and regulations. Peg Scully moved to Freedom from Cincinnati, Ohio in the late 1960s and lately worked along with Gail Morris, Bob Smart, and Alan Fall on the Freedom Heritage Commission to get the bandstand designated. It fulfills the mission of Freedom and the master plan that we recognize and honor the historic buildings in town. We know that they're important to the life of the town and the continuation of this wonderful place. I think about the past and how visually attractive it is. It just shows how long this town has been here and how it's changed, but it hasn't changed. It has a wonderful way of staying the same over the years, and I appreciate that. Freedom resident Rob Hatch performed major repairs on the bandstand in 2010. The former Red Hill House in Moultonboro that was originally built as a tavern in 1810 and then used as a grange hall has also been designated as an historic place. President Obama has approved New Hampshire Governor John Lynch's request for a disaster declaration following Hurricane Sandy. Yesterday, the president ordered federal aid be to supplement state and local recovery efforts. The money will be available to state and local governments and some nonprofit groups on a cost-sharing basis for emergency work and the repair of facilities affected by the storm in Belknap, Carroll, Coas, Grafton, and Sullivan counties. Money is also available for hazard mitigation measures statewide. Though New Hampshire was spared the devastation seen in other states, the storm resulted in the fourth largest power outage in state history and the closing of numerous roads due to flooding, debris, and downed power lines and poles. In Maine news, the Maine Legislature's outgoing Appropriations Committee is going to meet for the last time. The Budget Reviewing Committee will be presented today with revised figures showing smaller revenues over the next two and a half years. It's due in large part to the sluggish economy that impacts consumer spending. The lower estimates mean state government will have less money to authorize for services. The immediate $35 million shortfall could result in a curtailment order from Governor Paul LePage. In sports, Justin Edwards scored 29 points on 11 of 12 shooting to help Maine beat Northeastern last night 76-73 in non-conference action. Joe Johnson scored 18. Andre Blache had 17 and 13 boards. And the Brooklyn Nets beat the Boston Celtics 95-83 last night after Rajon Rondo was ejected following a fight in Boston. In the weather today, partly sunny this morning, then mostly cloudy, with a slight chance of snow showers this afternoon. Highs in the mid-30s, gusty winds out of the west, up to 30 miles per hour. Cloudy with a chance of snow showers in the evening tonight, then partly clearing after midnight. Lows 9, 9 to 17 above. Gusty winds out of the northwest. Wind chills as low as 0 after midnight. And partly sunny on Friday, highs in the mid-20s. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie.